المدربين من هولندا اصحاب الخبرات الكبيره في عالم كره القدم الهولندي اريك فان دير مير مستر فان دير مير فيرست اوف اول وي ويلكم يو بيفور ستارتنج ذس انترفيو اند وي سو هابي هافينج يو ويز اس توداي اوفر ذا فون السلام عليكم ثانك يو فيري ماتش هابي تو بي مستر فان دير مير هاو دو يو سي ذا technical level of uh, competition and the performance of the national teams, the four national teams that are the runners-up to the semi-finals? No, I must say uh, I like uh, the competition and the tournament, but uh, for today, the game mm. against uh, Senegal, Tunisia, it's not a, a really good game. Mm. Uh, first half it was, uh, was very boring, mm. and in the second half it was a little better with uh, two penalties were stopped by the goalkeepers. And we're still playing, so uh, it's, uh, it's uh, about who's going to win this game. Hmm. Uh, give, uh, would you just give me a few seconds to translation to the viewers? الهولندي اريك فان دير مير بيقول الشوط الاول من مباراه تونس والسنغال لم يكن فنيا مرتفع المستوى او كان ممل حسب وصفه لكن الامور تطورت في الشوط الثاني ولكن ايضا كان في اثاره في الملعب واضاع كل منتخب من المنتخبين التونسي والسنغالي ضربه جزاء كانت ممكن ترجح كفته في هذا اللقاء وهو ما لم يحدث حتى الان. Your expectations due to the level of competition and due to the performance of both the Tunisian national team and also the team of Senegal. Who is, uh, in your perspective, uh, who has the better chances to win the game? Uh, for me, uh, I like uh, the, the way uh, Senegal plays more. Uh, Tunisia is more waiting and playing in the transition or in the counter. Uh, but uh, Senegal is uh, putting pressure and uh, try to win this game. Hmm. And I think that Tunisia don't want to lose this game. So hmm. it's not a mentality. Hmm. So I think with all the performance players from uh, from Senegal, like طيب another uh, just another few seconds for translation if you please yeah. uh, الهولندي اريك فان دير مير بيقول انه بيفضل اداء منتخب السنغال بيقول انه اكثر شراسه واكثر قوه في الهجوم فضلا عن عناصر متميزه مثل ساديو ماني وعدد من نجوم الفريق وهو الاقرب من وجهه نظره الى حسم هذا اللقاء في نصف نهائي البطوله وان كان يقول ايضا انه المنتخب التونسي بيسعى جاهدا لعدم الخساره او لعدم تلقي هذه ما في هذا اللقاء ولكن بيقول ان الضغط السنغالي وطريقه اداء السنغال من وجهه نظره فنيا هي الافضل uh, we want you to uh, just uh, tell us as well how did you see the egyptian national team the performance of the egyptian national team uh, during the championship i think good but uh, one thing uh, senegal score 1-0 so i think mm. I, i did a good job <laughs> yeah yeah you did a good job now <laughs> that's not a thing but uh, mm. Yeah, I was expecting more from Egypt. Uh, I think we should have a good game, of course, with uh, the, the, the star player with the Mustala. Hmm. Uh, and they were unlucky that, uh, that they will go out. So uh, I was hoping for more. And also for the people uh, in the stadium. But of course, you see now, there are not too many fans with the game of uh, Senegal and Tunis. Hmm. Yeah, uh, if you please again, I'm sorry for this. Just uh, wait a second. to uh, tell uh, the viewers what you said now Mr. Vandermeer. Mr. Vandermeer بيقول اعتقد اني احسنت في توقعي لانه المنتخب السنغالي بيتفوق حاليا واحرز هدف اللقاء الاول الان وهو بيتصدر هذه المباراه بفارق هدف عن نظير منتخب تونس ولكن بالنظر الى المنتخب المصري ومشاركته وادائه في هذه البطوله بيقول كنت اتوقع المزيد كنت اتوقع اداء افضل من صلاح ورفاقه في اشاره الى نجمنا الكبير محمد صلاح وقدراته وشهرته العالميه وان كان الاداء كان اقل من التوقعات وهو كان من الناس اللي بتضع مصر في مصاف الفرق والمنتخبات اللي عندها فرصه كبيره جدا لعوامل كثيره جدا من اجل ان تنافس او انها عندها حظوظ جيده جدا للمنافسه على هذا اللقب. Let's go back to the semifinals. How do you see tonight's match? The game tonight at 9 o'clock Cairo time between Algeria and Nigeria. The Algerian team and the Nigerian national team. Who has better chances? Yeah, this is a tough one. I think uh, uh, that the Nigeria has the better chances. I think they are strong and mm. good in technique mm. and fast. So, uh, and Nigeria did a, a, a mm. good job with uh, Belmadi, the coach. I know him from, uh, from Qatar. Mm. So uh, they also are a good team. But I think in favor, I go for uh, Nigeria. You go for Nigeria. Nigeria. Why, Mr. Van der Meer, in spite of the fact that uh, most of the people, the critics, sports critics in Egypt, uh, the viewers, everyone saying uh, throughout the social media that the Algerian team, according to their point of view, was the better so far in the championship? 
That's right. They are the better team because they win also the, the 3-0 against uh, Genoa. So uh, they had a good team, but I think, and that's my uh, expectation, that they're going to win uh, again. Hmm. You think that Nigeria can, can win the game? I think that Nigeria is going to win the game against Algeria, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we thank you so much. And finally, I would like to ask you, do you think many new stars will go out to Europe and to uh, the most famous uh, uh, football teams in the world throughout this championship? I hope so, because there are a lot of African very good players. So I hope that also we in, in Europe see that they are, can play uh, in, in Europe. Hmm. So I think so. Yeah, thank you very much. We're so happy with this participation with us today. Mr. Eric van der Meer from Netherlands, we thank you so much.